Welcome in, let's get started. Today's topic is virtue signaling, publicly expressing opinions intended to demonstrate one's good character or moral correctness, otherwise known as everybody on the internet. Okay, before we start, I just wanna let you know that there are safe spaces all over this campus and we support freedom of speech, but only if it's the side that we agree with. Okay, can you think of any good examples of virtue signaling? Okay, remember last year when Starbucks got in all that trouble for all that racial stuff with their customers? I posted on my feed that I would never support Starbucks again. Excellent, and then what did you do? Oh, I definitely went back like two days later. Perfect. That's a perfect example. With virtue signaling, we love raising awareness. Awareness is great because we never actually have to do anything. Raising awareness is like walking down the street and seeing someone getting beat up and be like, hey everybody, that guy's getting beat up and then not doing anything to intervene and stop it. But it's like, we did our part, at least someone knows. You know what, this is starting to make a lot of sense. Yes. A couple quick tips to help you improve your virtue signaling. If you're gonna do something good in real life, always post about it on the internet. Otherwise, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? Volunteering, marching, get a couple fake candid photos, gonna go a long way on the internet. Just always think about the likes. I mean, there's a Bible verse about this. Always let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. You know what, the other day, someone I follow posted something that I thought was offensive and I just unfollowed them and moved on with my day. That is so wrong. Everyone knows that that is a perfect opportunity for fake outrage. Listen, as a virtue signaler, we must always recognize the hot trending topics. A couple years ago, the environment was very hot. We were on that for a while. Then we moved on to gender issues. Last year, that was a hot button for virtue signalers. And now in 2020, racism is back. Yeah, I see it. Okay, and this is a virtue signaler's dream, especially that Blackout Tuesday. Oh, that was our Super Bowl. Listen, we shamed people if they didn't post a black image, and then if they did, we shamed them for using the wrong hashtag. It was just, this is all super helpful, thank you. I'm honestly speechless. And that brings me to my next point, virtue signaling without words. My entire outfit here, from my shirt, to my necklace, to my bracelets, all the way down to my socks and shoes, is a signal of my world-class virtue. You know I'm a better person than you before I even open my mouth to tell you. <sighs> this is a lot. Listen, this is all in the name of progress, okay? And in the name of progress, it's very important that we revisit the past, mostly by looking up celebrities' old tweets and finding dirt on them. Okay, look what we did to Kevin Hart. He made an inappropriate joke 10 years ago and got canceled from hosting the Oscars last year. And that's crazy because he made the joke 10 years ago and he wouldn't make it today, which ironically is the actual definition of progress, what we say we stand for. But listen, if we have the opportunity to tear someone down, we don't mind ignoring facts to do it, okay? But I mean, he's even bigger now than before, so. He is, yes, which brings us back to your original signal with the Starbucks situation. Yeah, okay, I thought we canceled them. We did cancel them, but they are currently the biggest coffee chain in the world. But listen, these are facts, okay? And virtue signalers, we don't care about facts. As long as we signal about it, we're good. That's all for today. Do we have any homework? <laughs> no, we never have homework. That's the beauty of virtue signaling. We never have to do anything. Listen, if you wanna be a great virtue signaler, remember two things. Magnify your good deeds and other people's shameful deeds. That's it. We'll see you next week.